I'm running, so you can start whenever right. I'll cut. So this is going to be a guide on how to assemble the test stand control board for the microcart um, slash computer engineering 488 um, test stand control board. So what you need to do that is you need the PCB, obviously. Um, Gerber files and other appropriate files will be uh, at some point uploaded to the repository. You're going to need two um, header pins. Uh, I don't know the exact size and specs for these besides 15 pins each, um, but we will upload them in a video description or other documentation. We're going to need a six millimeter push button through hole. Uh, we're gonna need a 90 degree angle bend. Uh, these are 0.1 inch spacing uh, pins, five pins, 90 degree angle bend. We're going to need a through hole resistor. This one is a 100 ohms, but its purpose is a pull down resistor, so use your best judgment. Um, and we're also going to need a uh, Arduino Nano, which I do not immediately have on hand. Um, additionally, not required in the end build of the PCB, thank you, Brandon, Arduino Nano. Uh, but it's nice to have is a breadboard with some header pins that we've set up as a jig and a uh, resistor bending uh, tool to get a correct size bend so that the end result looks professional. So. About the jig, that's where we're gonna start. Um, you can see I've got, these are 15 pin header pins, same size as the slots. Uh, and what this is going to do, we've spaced them apart appropriately. So over the middle channel, one of them has a one slot on the inside, the other has two, because that's how wide the Arduino Nano is. So we're gonna take our header pins and we're going to slot them on top. They're not going to clip into place because the pins proceeding aren't long enough, but that's totally fine. We're just using this as a jig. And then we're going to place the soldering or the uh, PCB upside down and let it slot through the rows of pins. Like so. Uh, and then once that's in place, make sure it's relatively aligned. It'll have a little bit of wiggle. Uh, we can go ahead and solder all the pins. I'm going to assume whoever's watching this has some at least basic through hole soldering experience. Um, my one tip is that I like to solder opposite corners first to kind of tack it into place so that way it's a little less prone to wiggling. But uh, if you've got more experience, you do you. All right, and we're back. We've got our joint pins all soldered. Maybe not my best work. So what we're gonna do now is install the uh, pull-down resistor and the button. This is a little gadget gizmo that I 3D printed on Thingiverse. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of other files. And it allows me to put the uh, resistor in, bend the legs down, and now, when I take it out, it should be spaced appropriately to fit nice and cleanly through the pins. Push it through, make sure it's flush, and then if you're you know, not at this experience soldering, but bend these out so that way it stays in place. Uh, take the button as well, it goes in this way. The button is designed to hold itself in place fairly well. And now these are both in place. So what I'd like, what I like to do is reuse my jig to hold it up there. If you've got something like a uh, helping hands or a PCB vise, you can use that as well. We'll get this in place, we'll grab our soldering iron, and we'll do these next six joints. All right, now we've got all the button pins and the resistor pins in place. We're going to snip the resistor pins. So what I like to do, hold the pin, get in close, but leave, some, leave the solder joint there and snip it and set it aside. That way, when you hold on to it, you can prevent it from flying all over your workspace and potentially hitting someone in the eye and injuring them. All right, and now we've got to solder in the last component, which is, I admit, to be the trickiest. We have to solder this 90 degree header pin uh, into its socket here. So it fits in fine, but the issue is when you flip it upside down, it can fall out. Now this one has got some friction in it from a previous solder uh, joint, but the way that I have figured my workaround for this is to hold it upright like so, and then just tack on one of the joints there with a bit of solder there, and now it's held in place we can invert the PCB, and now this is crucial. This is the only one holding it in place, so we do not want to start soldering that pin. We'll start on the one furthest away from it, solder that one all the way properly, 
and now we can finish soldering the other four pins. All right, and now that we've got the 90 degree header pin in place, the last thing we need to do is insert the Arduino Nano. This is uh, assuming you've already soldered it in with header pins as they don't come pre-soldered. So we'll just insert it in, press it down, and once it's pressed in, snap, flash it with the appropriate firmware, also on the microcard repo. Thank you very much.